All right. So in chapter P, section 1, one of the topics we'll cover is interval notation. And this is a way to write out, rather than drawing all these lines and all these open and closed dots, to just write it down or even type it out on a keyboard. So it's kind of a nice notation to represent these visual lines. Now, interval notation is often used mathematically, but there is an alternative. So, for example, the interval notation for this, what we call open interval, where neither A nor B is included in the interval, but everything in between is, is simply parentheses A comma B, close parentheses. The way we usually write this is just that you know, some variable is between A and B, A less than X less than B. So really, interval notation is an extra notation. We already have a way of representing this. This is just merely an additional way. And you will have the choice as to which style of writing this interval you prefer. So if I continue on, you'll notice that whenever I have an open interval, I'm always using parentheses. But whenever I have a closed dot, it always corresponds to a closed bracket. Open dot, parentheses, closed dot, bracket. And over here, open dots correspond to less than or greater than, as we'll see later on. And closed dots correspond to less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Now, in these last few examples, these last four, we had what we call an unbounded interval, an interval of infinite length. Because while we have in these two examples, while we have a left end, the right just goes on forever. So in interval notation, we write this as plus infinity. So we're taking all values starting from A, maybe including, or in this case, excluding A, and everything above. Whereas here, we're taking B, this should be a close bracket, as our upper bound. And whether we include or exclude B, we take everything below. And with below, we use minus infinity. And notice that infinities always get parentheses, because you can never actually reach plus or minus infinity, whereas on a number line, we can reach you know, any point. We can reach any A or any B that we choose. 